The Nuggets are not holding anything back in the wardrobe department as they made their entrance tonight, hoping to make an impression on their home floor. Coming to you live on this Tuesday night, it's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Bradley Beal. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. So the opening lineup for the Sun. That court bear will be Beal and Booker. Sanders is out there with Bridges, and it's Aiton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Nuggets... Prime time is out there with Jamal Murray. And it's Goose, then it's Porter, and it's Jokic in at the five spot. One thing to expect tonight, Richard, a battle on the glass. These are two of the best rebounding teams in the NBA. It's an aspect of the game we don't talk about enough. If you can control the glass normally, you control the flow. So the Nuggets win the tip. Murray against Beal. Murray, the pass to Jennings. Here's Jokic. Over Aiton. And that one's good, Jokic. Smooth light butter. Jokic can make you pay from anywhere. Deal with a screen on Jennings. The drive by Booker and the dunk by Booker. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Here's Porter following the score by Phoenix. Lowry kicks to Jennings. Six to shoot. Takes a three. Bangs home the trifecta. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Beal the pass to Booker. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. The pass to Bridges. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And so it's Jokic with it. He brings it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a three-point game. Porter finds Murray. From the arc. And Sanders pulls it down. Here's the Suns with the ball. It's on target from the high post. Guy's just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Murray. And you know the points will always be there for him. He's averaging just a shade under 20 points a game right now. Back to Porter. Right side Jennings. Doubled by Bridges. And here's Jokic outside. Sinks the three-pointer. Jokic has got his second bucket of the night. Not always a huge part of Jokic's game, but the three-point shot, he's becoming more comfortable taking it. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. Oh, how about using the rim to get some true hang time? You know, he just wanted to make sure the landing was softer than the takeoff. And Greg finishing last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they've had great regular seasons before, only to fall short, but with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr. Jokic finally had the help to get it done. And the first one at the line is good. Lots of excitement around the Suns. A big reason, Richard, their new owner. Yeah, taking over in 2023. This new owner played college basketball, winning a national title, and has a great mind for the game, and already has made big changes in the organization. 
and Jennings drops them both. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Now here's Booker. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. Jokic high post. Aiton's there. Jokic sets the screen for Jennings. Here's Lowry, and he lays it straight in. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Beal the pass to Booker. A three ball. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Booker's got five now. Part of the evolution of Booker's game, getting consistent from deep. Murray scanning the floor. Jokic finds Lowry. Lowry drawing the double team. Here's Jokic. Got it. Good job in the low post. He has seven. You simply can't move Jokic. He's like a statue out there and can hit any shot through contact. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long he Lake was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. First free throw is good. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like he doesn't get enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we, we all know how talented a scorer and shooter he is, but Bradley is now superb at facilitating. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. And for those teams, Greg, already out of the playoff picture, what are they focused on at this point? Next season? I mean, look, the reality is a number of these guys are playing for their job. And in the offseason, you want to be remembered for closing out strong. Phoenix, no good that time either. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Beal against Jennings. Plenty of space. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Pass to Beal. Pass to Booker. Launches it. Rebound by Murray. The Nuggets leading by seven. Pass to Jokic. Front pass the arc. Phoenix grabs the miss. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. That one goes in. Booker's got seven points in the game. I like how sudden Booker can be on the drive. Charging into a gap before the defense sees it's there. Lowry setting the pick for Jennings. From outside the arc. And again, Denver no good. Suns trail by five. And Booker kicks to Bridges from deep. That's good from Booker on the assist by Bridges. Booker's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Suns. Jokic with the screen on Booker. Here's Jennings. Sanders with the steal. Booker up top. He's covered by Murray. Crafty move. Booker dishes to Sanders. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. He's the driving force, no doubt. But Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players. Guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. And he makes the first. Gordon's checked in for Michael Porter. Mr. Moves checked in for Phoenix. And it's tied up with that one. Here's Murray. 
Coming off a solid outing against the Lakers. Jokic with his screen on Bledsoe. Pulls it from the elbow. Murray, no good. Phoenix has gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Bridges against Gordon. And here's Booker from the arc. And it's Lowry with the rebound. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up with the Nuggets. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Just five on the clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Mikael Bridges picks one up. Denver shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. And Jennings drops them both. Some big guys struggle at the line, not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. Here's Booker. Phoenix, no good that time either. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. Phoenix time. Some numbers for Sanders. He's getting around 20 points per, eight rebounds, and two assists. And the phrase stats don't lie absolutely applies here. He's been a monster on the court for this team. Yeah, they rely on his production night in and night out. There are times when he absolutely carries them. Suns trail by four. Sanders sets the screen for Bledsoe. Here's Ayton. Off the left rim and out. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Gordon, the pass to Lowry. Kicks it out to Gordon. Fires the three. And it's Ayton with the rebound. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. 
Bridges passes to Bledsoe. Jokic with the steal. Murray with it. Now guarded by Bledsoe. And it's Murray penetrating. Phoenix grabs the miss. They want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. Jennings looking over it. He'll get your screen. Shoots from the elbow. Jennings can't get it to go. The Suns trailing. Booker in the corner. Let's it go with a three. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Bledsoe against Murray. Jokic with his screen on Bledsoe. On the wing, Gordon. Trying to find Jokic. Gets it to him. Murray outside. Clock at four. And again, Denver no good. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Shoots from 14. And that one goes long. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Nuggets. They trail by one. To the wing on the left. Denver passing it around. Jennings for three. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got four rebounds in this game. His consistency just hasn't been there this quarter in terms of his shooting. Jokic passes to Lowry. Count it. Lowry's got his second best. And I feel like Jokic has 360-degree vision. I mean, no matter where the open man is, he's going to find it. Now here's Booker. A 14-point game for him in the win against Oklahoma City. And he didn't just create often for himself now. He did a tremendous job of setting up his teammates as well. And with Jokic now a finals MVP and an NBA champion, Greg, he's already an all-time great. And could go down as one of the greatest players ever. He started to pile up the hardware and the wars. Amazing what he could accomplish in the next few years. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Sanders against Lowry. Sanders shot is off. How about that hard nose D in the paint right there? Nice job. Yeah, he's got great position, and it makes it a really tough shot, even from such close range. And there comes a point when, for the team's sake, you might want to move it. He's hurting him with all of these misses. Nailed from three-point land. Plays hard in every facet of the game. Nothing that Booker can't do. And for in the lead. A minute 20 left to play in the first quarter. Jogic finds Murray. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. How about the strength of Murray finishing the shot off easily, even with the harm? And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Denver. The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. And they've also been effective from beyond the arc tonight. And if that continues, guys, it can really open up the rest of their offense. Suns trail by four. Once so, taking his time here. Sanders gets it to go on the assist by Bloodsoe. Six points for Smooth. Denver shooting 45% from the floor since the game got underway. Murray with the bounce pass. Gordon inside. Covered by Johnson. We'll see if they want to trade two for one here. Got to time up that clock to do so. Gordon kicks to Bloodsoe. Here's Sanders, and they're unable to get the time basket there. Murray outside. 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. 
here's Brown. Sanders covering. Buries it from three-point range. Murray's got six points. And that's what you're looking to do. Get your best score something within the flow of the offense. Here's Sanders. Makes good on the step-back jumper. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. And a high-scoring first quarter. Both teams really filling it up. Nuggets lead by three. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And what stands out to you from the Nuggets in this one? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc. And as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. There's Bledsoe. Hasn't made one yet. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. And there's Gordon. It's Najee in at the five. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. Bledsoe. Rebound by Murray. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points. But the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Najee, good. Yeah, coach's pet D there. No box out. Uh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. The pass to Johnson. And there's the drive. And a great Cameron assist Johnson. by Bunso as that one goes in. Just running in. Johnson takes off the moment he sees that gap. Gordon up on top. Back to Caldwell Pope over Gordon. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. It's up a three, another three for Phoenix. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Murray, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Off target with his three. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Watso finds Gordon. Now Sanders. Let's it go. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Murray against Watso. Rebound by the Suns. In the corner, Sanders with it. And it's Sanders missing again. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Denver. Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. That'll be the second of four games at home for him. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Here's Johnson, and the layup fall. Cameron Johnson. Johnson's got the game tied up here for Phoenix. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Murray with the bounce pass. Gordon, the pass to Brown. No good from outside. The Suns have gone 3-7 shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Bloodso with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Johnson kicks to Gordon. They set the screen. Here's Eubank. Uses both ends to slam it down. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. 
Caldwell Pope against Gordon. Astonaji. Here's Brown. Lock at six. Fires for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Bledsoe's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Johnson kicks to Sanders. Misses in close. Denver's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Murray for three. Rebound by the Suns. Oof, rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. Bledsoe outside. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Passes to Eubanks. That one goes. Count it. Eubanks got his second bucket of the night. Top out Johnson with the hot pass. Good job seeing that open. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. I have a question for you. Who wants a t-shirt? Changes. Porter comes in for Zeke Naji, and prime time subbed in for Christian Brown. And then for Phoenix, Bridges comes in for Eric Gordon, and Beal subbed in for Mr. Moves. The Nuggets trail by four. Murray outside. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Outside, Porter launches a three. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. Just sensational form and touch on display from Porter. When he gets any room to shoot from deep, he's looking to fire. Here's Bridges. <laughs> And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And while we see a number of players get hurt during the season, Richard Mikhail Bridges has remained very durable. He's just an old school player. That's what they used to do. If you were healthy, you played in every single game, and he's found ways to stay healthy. First one falls, and a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously, and it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Deal against Murray. the pass to Jennings. Shoots over Bridges. Jennings can't get it to go. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. Bridges passes to Johnson. Buries the long-range jumper. Johnson's got the lead up to six now for the Suns. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Pass to Porter. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Shot clock at six. Jennings against Bridges. Jennings with the bucket. A quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Deal against Murray. 
Now here's Beal. He's guarded closely. And Sanders kicks to Johnson. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. That's in, and the Suns lead is cut to just one on the basket from Caldwell Pope. And that's how you execute offensively. Murray with a great job of getting it to his teammate. Here's Beal. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Beal against Murray. Outside, Porter. Passes it to Gordon. Back to Porter. A three. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Sanders sets the screen for Beal. to Eubanks. The Suns need to get a shot off. Bridges for three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bridges. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now Jamal Murray had to be patient working his way back to peak form after his ACL injury. Luckily for him, hard work is nothing new. He says, I feel like I got better in the time I was out. I don't overthink when it comes to basketball. Well, let me shoot, let me shoot. I'm just confident in my game like that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, very confident, right, DA? Thank you. And Booker is so active on offense, which really forces the D to act with aggression at times. Taking two shots. Good Booker. Oh, Richard, the speed with which Devin Booker has accumulated points in his career is absolutely stunning. Yeah, he's the sixth youngest player to hit 12,000 career points. And trust me, that list has Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant. I mean, this guy is a true natural scorer. Putting the ball in the hoop is like second nature for Devin Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. This is who you want at the line, and Booker gets himself there a lot. Outside Jennings, Gordon with a screen on Beal to the paint, and then Gordon with the dunk. He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his bounce, well, that kind of levels the playing field. Booker with the screen for Beal, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And now a veteran in this league, Beal is hungry to compete for championships at this stage of his career. The Suns have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. down the first one. And both free throws good for Beal. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Jennings with the ball. He picked up 18 points in the last win against the Lakers in Los Angeles. He was a menace on defense as well, managing three steals. And that massive wingspan coming into play there. Ball uses it to perfection to block shots. Now gets it gone, 7 of 16, shooting just under 50% here in the second quarter. Shoots from eight. Oh, Jokic powering inside. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. He'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Johnson against Gordon. Johnson, the pass to Bowl. Two on the clock. 
And again, it's the Suns missing. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. All right, a moment to check out stats for Bridgman. Over the last month, getting it done. He's getting around 16 points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. But you look at all that, and really it doesn't give you the entire picture of his impact defensively. Just in general, numbers don't tell the whole story with defense. For guys like him, you have to watch to understand his impact. And this is Beal's role. He's out here to score the ball, and he does it at a high rate. Jackson kicks to Gordon. Jennings against Booker. A baseline J. Jennings can't get it to go. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Gordon with it. Now Beal defending. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And now a quick rundown of the leading free throw shooters at small forward this year. It's a pretty sure thing whenever one of them gets to the line. Mikel Bridges third. And knowing what I do about the guys on that list, I can Take tell break. you they put Take a break. lot of long hours Take in the gym shot. to get those percentages to where they are. As good as they are from the line, it forces an opposing defense to play with caution against them, and that's never a good thing. No good on the free throw. And there's no question that Gordon is a talented player, and it's clear he wants to be a star in this league. Here's what Denver's going with right now. Goose, he's checked in for Michael Porter. And Murray's subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Andre Ayton's checked in for the Suns. Sanders comes in for Johnson. And the second free throw, good. Phoenix has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight. Just a little over 40%. Here's Booker. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Booker's got 22. Muscling his way through the contact. Love the edge that Booker plays with. Murray against Beal. Outside Gordon for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Ayton's got his fifth rebound in this one. There's Beal with the three. Jennings with the rebound. The Nuggets trail by three. Driving inside. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Jennings has got four this quarter. And he's got more height than you typically see at the off-guard position. And that size comes in handy, as we saw on that play. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Michael Porter, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Michael Porter, Jr. There's a minute 40 left to play here in the half. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Aiden. Phoenix, no good that time either. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his third foul of the game. And Phoenix making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Number two, Cameron Johnson. Nuggets trail. 129 left to play here in the second quarter. Jennings kicks to Murray. Gets back to Jennings. Bridges with the steal. Goes back up. Rejected by Jennings. Now running. There comes Lowry pushing the ball up. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Bridges dishes to Sanders. And he uses the glass on the lane. Sanders has got 13. No issues on that one. Good work all around. Bridges against Jennings. The pass to Lowry. Kicks it out to Jennings. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Johnson, the pass to Beal. That three off the mark. 
Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. The shot will not fall. Good work defensively by Johnson. Here's Sanders. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on quarter. They've upped their percentage to around 90 from the line today. Great job this quarter. Suns have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Murray against Beal. Outside for Lowry. This one for three. No good there. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. The Suns on top. They lead by four. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do. Uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Welcome, folks, for the Phoenix Suns tonight. They're looking at what should be a good battle in a game that's still up for grabs. Being a trunk slammer ain't easy. Hostile environment, and these guys are unfazed. Yeah, it's tough to win on the road in the NBA. Loving the confidence. Okay, and now moving on to what's been a fantastic head-to-head -head matchup at the two-guard spot. When you're facing a great player, it's all about taking that challenge. It should bring out the best in you. Iron sharpens iron. Cream rises to the top. Sticks and stones. All that good stuff. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. Halfway through this one, plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. At the guard spot, we'll see the star pair of Beal and Booker. Mikel Bridges out there with Sanders. And it's Aiton in at center, locking down the middle. From deep, Jokic. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got four rebounds now tonight. Driving to the basket. He feeds it to Bridges. It's Beal on the wing. He's covered by Murray, and it's slammed in by Bridges. It's a classic play, and it gets Bridges the opening he needs. The Nuggets trail by six. Murray outside. Pass to Jokic. Outside, Porter, beyond the arc. Good, and the assist goes to Jokic. Jokic just got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. And I bet he's thinking that he could close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. Wow, the finger roll. Sometimes a soft finish like that makes it even more painful for the defense. Jokic sets the screen for Murray. 
And again, Denver with the triple. Love how creative Murray is with the ball. Just dribbling through defenders like it's nothing. Here's Beal. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got his eighth rebound here tonight. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. The score now all even two. Jokic has got 11. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Here's Beal with the drive. What a terrific move that was. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. With the step back. Inside. Kicks it out to Jennings. And again, Denver with the triple. Yeah, that's too good a look to give them from behind the arc. The Suns have gone three or five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Booker the pass to Ayton. The three, Bridges. And it's Denver with the rebound. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Murray for three. And Sanders pulls it down. Phoenix has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Booker kicks to Sanders. A three ball. Rebound by the Nuggets. Porter's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Lowry. The dish to Murray. Lowry against Sanders. Outside for Murray. Six to shoot. His three pointers off the mark. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Hooker the pass to Sanders. He dishes it to Ayton. Bridges a screen on Jennings. Bridges outside. From outside the arc, trains the three-pointer. Bridges has got seven points in the game. Unsurprisingly savvy pass by Booker, setting another guy up for success instead of forcing a shot. Beal against Murray. Passes it to Jokic. Down low. And a wide-open look for Porter. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Lowry's got four assists in the game. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Pass to Booker. Here's Ayton, and Ayton throws it down. With his length, Ayton can easily get to the rim. In fact, he almost makes it look too easy. Heel against Murray. Kicks it out to Jennings. And it's Murray penetrating. Banked in off the glass. 11 points in the game. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. Booker against Jennings. Now the pass to Beal. Aiton in the high post. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Aiton's got four points in the quarter. The Nuggets have gone 7-10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. Now here's Murray. He's got 11. Over Beal. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got nine rebounds now tonight. To the inside. And the rejection by Lowry. And they can be happy they fouled Murray there in the ag. Jamal is lights out at the line. First team foul. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Nuggets. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And we're also seeing a lot from them at the arc in this one. Tonight, it's been all about that three ball for these guys. He misses the free throw.
and he sinks the second. Phoenix calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Taking a look here at some of the numbers for him. And in the last five games, he's made a bunch of hustle plays on the glass more than anywhere else. His rebounding totals in these games shows a dramatic increase from his numbers during the rest of the season. 